How's it going everybody? Chad Lee here and today I just want to talk about what I expect to be very very strong tomorrow for DLC 3 and the level cap increase and just to note I do not have access to anything early so this is just pure speculation on my part but right now grenades obviously are not scaling to mayhem levels and tomorrow they're going to start doing that and that means they're going to start becoming very very viable. So obviously, as you can see right here, I have the light speed that's a part of the Guardian takedown loot pool. And it's just level 57 with just some bonus radiation on it. This isn't even the 150 grenade damage one while acting skill is active. With that, I don't even want to know how much damage you could do with this thing. But right now, I just have a flak build that I actually worked on in Mayhem 4. And it was kind of a grenade build, so I'm really excited to bring this out of retirement for tomorrow so definitely keep your eyes out for this it is a lot of fun and right now i am just in mayhem 2 just because it gives enemies a bonus health shield armor and then also we get uh, more than okay boomer modifier and we can just basically one tap tront for the most part a good chunk of the time now right now i am just going to have the craters out but if you want to get really crazy you can hold an unforgiven and hit even higher damage numbers it's insane but like I said, this build is built around grenades. I'm trying to do the most damage possible with them. So this is the best case scenario, but I think these grenade builds are going to be a lot of fun starting tomorrow. So first off, we're going to just run around with the craters and see how much damage we can do. I am going to activate my bonus elements, though, with this weapon, with the extra charge of rack attack. Then right here, we can get a good amount of damage going right there. Probably next one is going to finish him off. Just like that, five grenades. He is done and if you hit it better than i do right there kind of hit the crit spot a little bit better he's going to die in just a couple grenades and what i'm going to show you next with the unforgiven we can basically just one tap him a good chunk of the time so here we're back again and i'm just going to hold the unforgiven while i throw those grenades now so i'm just going to go invisible and slide my way over there activate my bonus elements with this if i had the 150 anointment on the light speed i actually probably wouldn't even do that but just like that, we can throw one grenade and he dies. And so obviously we're on Mayhem 2 right now. I don't think it's going to be too much tougher than this. I don't think it's going to be quite this easy. I think it might feel like playing on Mayhem 4 or 5 right now. So I'm actually going to take this same exact build over to Grave Ward and try the same thing. But we'll move up to, say, Mayhem 4 or 5. So I just moved up to Mayhem 4. I actually ended up not doing 5 just because that's a third modifier just to kind of re-roll and make sure it's not really affecting our damage in any way, shape, or form. So I kept it on 4 just so we stay at 2. And then right here, I'm going to let Greyboard uh, tilt the stage and throw down his hand. And then we're going to throw a grenade at the ground and try to bounce it into his hand and see what kind of damage we can do. So he's about to slam his hand. I'm going to activate my bonus elements. And... In just one grenade, we got him down one bar. Now, that was like exactly one bar, so I don't know if that was any sort of kind of health gate right there, because I know it, you cannot one hit melee Grave Ward. He will get a health gate at some point, but we are about to finish him off right there and still have a couple grenades to spare. Now, if we had a class mod with plus six grenades, which might actually get boosted up to seven grenades with the new level cap increase, we're gonna have to see how that actually scales as a passive but worst case scenario it stays at six and we have a bunch of grenades and then with more than okay boomer you guys are gonna get a ton of grenades back anyways so no matter what character you're playing this is going to be a very viable option for a build so i'm incredibly excited to try this i have like i said this flak one kind of planned out and ready to go just got to get the new stuff and make sure it is all up to par there and then I also have a Zane one, so if any of those sound interesting to you, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and keep your lookout for those. So something else to note, if you guys are not aware of all the changes coming tomorrow, action skills and pets are actually going to scale to Mayhems as well. So action skill damage, say you want to do a phase cast build or a fracture build with Amara or a rack build with Flak, those are actually going to be killing things now and doing the appropriate amount of damage that they're intended to do. So that is super exciting. And also, I'm really excited about the pet scaling because I believe we're going to have some very viable pet builds 
And I know that sounds crazy and against everything you guys know if you have played Flak and have seen how painful it is to use those pets, but I'm really, really excited to have the possibility of those pets actually doing some damage and helping you out in fights. So hopefully you guys are as excited about DLC 3 and Phase 2 of Mayhem 2.0 coming out tomorrow make sure you guys stay tuned i'm gonna have so much content covering that we're also going to be streaming it a bunch every single night over on twitch right around 7 p.m central time so make sure you guys go down to the description and check the links out for that otherwise have a fantastic day and i'll catch you all tomorrow with dlc3 see ya